at a school in a remote town of Liaoning province, Xu Jinying is more of a mother than a teacher. When the kids here want to speak their minds, they come to me and share their problems. They will not tell their grandparents. Han Chunshuo, who lives with his grandparents, is one of them. His parents went to South Korea eight years ago, at a time when China's labor export was in demand. They made a promise to lift the family out of poverty. But after a few phone calls from abroad, they were never heard from again. He once asked me, you and Grandpa can't live forever. What can I do if both of you are gone? Han Chunshuo is not the only one left behind. Nearly half of his classmates in school go a full year without seeing their parents. And nothing highlights the human cost of urbanization quite like these left-behind children. For Chun Shuo, there aren't any fun memories of amusement parks. Instead, his childhood is filled with feelings of neglect and insecurity. Everyone has a mum and dad, but I don't. At the end of every semester, when the school asks for our parents' feedback, I don't have anyone to write the comments, as my grandparents can't read or write. I often feel envious when I see children with their parents on the street. A villager who recently returned said he bumped into Chun Shuo's father last year, but the phone number he left behind doesn't work. As the only child in the family, Han Chun Shuo is supposed to receive all the love and attention from his parents. But as to why his parents have left and they never came back, only they themselves will know. Guanyang CCTV, Xinbin County, Liaoning Province. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.